All right. Do you want to build an electric skateboard? Keep watching. Obviously, you need a long board deck because um, a regular skateboard deck would do it. But the longer the uh, the deck is, the better it is. This way, you have um, a lot of space between your feet, so you have more control over the board. Next, it is the trucks. I recommend using a uh, caliber two trucks because um, they have a sort of D shape that allows them to be a uh, I mean to work with most of the motor mounts uh, are out there all right so next on the list is um, the wheels all right here you have to use uh, 90 millimeter wheels or bigger that's what I recommend because uh, not only you have a smoother ride when the wheels are bigger but you also have a higher top speed all right the next on the list is a pulley system a pulley system is um, basically the gearing. It's composed by the wheel, the, the, the wheel pulley, the motor pulley, and a belt. Also including screws and hardware to mount them. It's up to you to decide what gearing you want to use. I'm using a, a wheel pulley of 36 teeth and a motor pulley of 16 teeth. You can decide to go with uh, 15 teeth and uh, 36 it's just up to you but also note that it uh, the gearing ratio affect the speed and the torque next on the list is the motor you can decide to use uh, a 63 55 millimeter motor or a 63 74 millimeters motor all right make sure that uh, if you are using um, a 63 55 motor uh, you can use the motor mount for 6374. So what I'm trying to say is get the motor mount for 6374 millimeter motor. This way you can attach the smaller motor or the bigger motor. All right. So for the motor you can uh, uh, go with. Uh, and 190 kV that's what I'd always go with because you have uh, as much torque as you can and at the same time you also have uh, a high speed when the kV motor is high you have more speed and when it's low you have more torque next item on the list is uh, the ESC there is a lot of ESCs right now but I will recommend using the VESC or Vader ESC, ESC standing for Electronic Speed Controller or the FOC box. This one is ready to be the best, but for now I'm going with uh, the VESC. All right, so yep, seventh on the list the controller and a receiver. Here you can uh, get any RC car remote, but I will recommend using something um, small, something that you can slide in your pocket when you stop riding. That's why I decide to use the nano remote and uh, receiver. All right, the eight is a little bit tricky because uh, for battery you can decide to use um, a lipo battery which most people recommend because they are pretty cheap and uh, light they don't require a lot of work except for charging charging you need to like spend a balance charger it's like around 30 or 40 bucks i think yep so for in my case i'm going to use the lithium ion batteries they last longer 
I mean, not in uh, um, in long term. I mean, in long term, they last longer than the the lipo batteries. But it's just that it's more work if you want to build your own uh, lithium ion battery pack because you need to put them uh, the, the the cells together. You either you can either weld them or uh, solder them, but you will need to uh, add or to wire a BMS. That's a lot of work if you are not really uh, if you're not willing to do all of that. You can just get a lipo battery, uh, maybe two of them if you want to make a a 10s. I will uh, recommend using a two of the packs, like a 5s each then you're good to go all right next is um, an enclosure when you finish wiring everything you want to put everything in one place um, and lock it maybe seal it make make it a little bit uh, water resistant yep so you can use an enclosure some a lot of people use like a full containers but I will see connectors of course you will need connectors you would yeah, you can choose um with xt90 xt60 in my case i'm using xt60s a switch for the switch it's uh, optional you can uh, just get a nnt spark switch you can get that or just uh, plug the battery directly to the esc just to uh, power on in my case i'm using a switch an on and off switch so yeah you need wires you need tools um this one is also optional if you're using lipo you might be getting the um the balance charger you won't need a charging port and uh, yep that's pretty much it for the part um so i'm going to do a quick uh overview of how things would go on the board all right so you have your regular long board now you have the, the trucks mounted with your wheels, all of that. Now you need um, to up to mount the pulley system. So you have the motor pulley that goes on the motor this way. Uh, I mean, you have the wheel pulley that goes on the wheel this way. All right. Next, you need um, a motor mount that goes on one of the trucks all right just goes like that on which your motor is mounted all right so you have that mounted okay now uh, on the shaft of the motor you have the motor pulley mounted all right and now you have to uh connect the wheel to uh the motor with a belt all right don't so the the rotation the, the rotation of the motor uh make the wheel spin all right so you have three wires coming from the motor they're called phase wires they are going straight to connect to the three wires from the ESC all right so your next step is uh, plugging powering your ESC with a battery all right all right so positive positive negative negative so that's like a quick overview of how you want to do it all right, a DIY electric skateboard. So here I have uh, my package from uh, DIY electric skateboard. So I have some, it's a motor, trucks, wheels, and uh, motor mounts, and whatever. So let's take a look. Okay, that's just some regular whopping. Let's take this out real quick. So here we have some fly wheels. These are 90 millimeters black. 
put that aside. Let's see. This is uh, the motor mount, 63 millimeter motor mount key. Let's take a look. These are spacers for the wheels. These are bearings, bolts, nuts, etc. So some more wrapping. Wrapping. And here it is. The trucks. As you can see here, these are large caliber two trucks. As you can see here. From talk board, I got two of them front and back. Uh, I will make a comparison to uh, with this and uh, the regular caliber two trucks, so you know um, uh, the differences in sizes. Here. This is the pulley system, 36 teeth um, wheel pulley, um, a 16 teeth motor pulley, and a belt. And the most exciting item, this is the 6374 torque ball motor 190 kv as you can see here oh nice they come with uh, some uh, bullet connectors this is uh, a key okay before i drop one of these Check this out, guys. This is a huge motor, 6374. All right, so 63 is the diameter, and 74 in uh, length. This is a huge motor. And now, if uh, you are trying to uh, build an electric skateboard and you, you don't you don't want to struggle when going up hills. This is definitely uh, the motor to go with. I mean, if you need to make uh, a single setup, this is the motor to go with. Now, if you uh, can afford to do like uh, a dual setup, I would recommend doing uh, going with this 6355 millimeters motor. Yep. So I decided to go with the big one. I need the horsepower. So yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, let's put together the deck. So here is a quick comparison between those trucks. This is my regular penny ball trucks. This is a uh, 180 millimeters, um, I guess, and this is like. Uh, a two, 218 millimeters so as you can see here there is a big difference in uh, size and yeah so here I didn't purchase uh, a, another vest because I already had an ESC this is the Vader ESC these are probably the best uh, ESCs you can get out there right now and I also had the nano remote with uh, a receiver and to power it I also have a 10s 2p battery pack uh, so I think that we do it so I will probably be uh, upgrading the battery so for the deck you can use any type of deck but you just need to know that uh, the longer the deck is uh, the better it is